Do I smell gasoline? Is my bike having a piss again? Uh, no. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. This week, uh, we're at Baxter. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I arrived at Baxter, and I was like, hmm, why is their fuel just pouring out the bottom of my bike again? So the same thing that happened to me at, um, uh, what was the race? The Beagle Bash. So at the, at the start of the Beagle Bash, it seems my float got stuck open, and my float got stuck open again today. Now, I have a sneaky suspicion that the float didn't get stuck open today and got stuck open during the RJ's race, because I did think it was a little strange how I hit my reserve on the at the end of the fourth lap and then i i was just thinking about it um when this happened and i was like huh four laps that's only uh four times uh 14 which is uh 48 no 56 that's not that many um that's not that very many uh that's not very many kilometers oh jesus i should probably get rid of that log <laughs> Yeah, so 56 kilometers is, is really not that far, that so there's no be. reason why I should have run out of fuel. So I think it got s stuck open much earlier. Yeah, just doing my uh, good day, good good deed. Because there's other people here today, even though it's been pissing with rain. Um, and it's, you can see it's, it's very wet and still raining. I thought I should move that before someone crashes. Um, oh, pardon me. Dear, that wasn't even my dinner. Actually, it probably was my lunch, because I got there at about... Uh, just before 12, and I was like, oh, it's still raining, I'm just going to eat my lunch now, and then I'll go for a ride. Um, anyway, yeah, so my float got stuck open, so I had to, like, whack it again with the with the spanner, and um, and then it stopped shortly after. So it was quite annoying that, like, my float is getting stuck so frequently, so that's probably something I need to resolve. I need to take the carb off and give it a clean through, and hopefully that'll fix it. It's so su it sucks now that they've started putting ethanol in the bloody fuel. Pretty good on the front. Um, I keep it, it's now got stuck twice, and then for the like past what three years where there's no ethanol, never got stuck once. Of course. Anyway, so I'm at Baxter today. Sorry about my little rant. Anyway, <laughs> I'm at Baxter, and um, I wanted to practice. Um, Braking a little harder. I put a new front tire on because um, I think I've got about 70 hours on out of the Star Cross, and I'm like, eh, I, I got a, um, a Jura medium. I want to put that back on. It's good in the wet, and the uh, Star Cross is starting to look a little circular. <laughs> so I've been practicing going along and then just braking hard. Uh, well, it's a little slippery, and I'm still quite apprehensive. I've just started practicing this area. And one other thing I also started doing was, I, I've cut a lot of the footage out. Actually, I didn't even record a lot of the footage, because it's just me going around and around in circles, and coming along here, and then just braking hard with my front. Well, I say braking hard. Like, I get to about 40, 45, and I brake and see what it feels like. And then I, I like, go back through here. And what else I was doing was, I was twiddling with the compression and rebound. And um, I know Baxter's super, super smooth. There's no difficulty to this trail. It's very, very luxuriously smooth. But I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep going around and practicing. And I was practicing a lot of braking. And I was thinking, oh, it's diving kind of hard when I um, when I um, try and brake hard. Maybe I don't brake hard because, oh, I'm scared to brake. Yeah, it was pretty good, that one. I'm getting, like, I'm scared. And it dives a little bit. And I'm not confident. So I've been practicing for, like, about an hour. About half an hour, sorry. At that point. Just going round and round and round. And just braking hard. And um, I upped the rebound. And upped the compression. And I was thinking, like, this is this is feeling pretty good. I also bumped into um, a few people. There was a, a, a three Polish fellas. Um, I met them before. I think their names were Chris, Tom, and Mike. Sorry if I got your names wrong. Even if you... I don't even know if you watch these videos. You almost certainly don't. But <laughs> just in case, if I ever do. They, they were very, very nice and... Uh, had a good good chat in the car park and uh, and out on the trails, so it was really cool. I, I've met Chris before on the trails. Uh, they're, they're really cool fellas. And they live very local, so they're always at this um, trail system, which is why I've bumped into them before. Um, but yeah, so I, I've currently now got my suspension at 15 and 15 for compression and rebound, um, and for Baxter it feels really good. Um, what little bumps are here, it soaks up 
really nicely. And my aim for the, this now was, I've been practicing the braking and turning up quite a bit, and I wanted to try a couple of things. So I've been practicing just using my front brake, having listened to what Fox said, um, and like trying to like race a little harder and then brake a little harder, just using the front. Um, and I wasn't practicing it at this point, but I spent a little bit of time later on where I was just like riding along and then braking with the rear to try and get it to turn. But I don't think I was ever like I only really had success when I was going faster, like about 30 kilometers per hour. And then you brake a little bit and hit the rear and then the rear would turn. So I wanted to try and get like half the turn done just using the rear before like finishing the turn. But I think that needs a lot of practice. I wasn't, I, 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 even even with my practice, I don't feel hugely successful with it. Um, as you can see, it's still raining. Um, but I was having, I think the grip wasn't so bad. I'm, I'm, I was also, the second thing I was also practicing was sitting a lot further forward. So, um, like, so you can see right now I'm sat and I'm basically sat on the front of the bike. This is, I think this is, I can't tell if I'm sitting or standing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so far forward I can't tell. I think I might be standing. But there are times where I was trying to sit like right on the front, right at the front of the fuel tank um, to see if that helped make any difference and probably did. I feel like it did but I was also just trying to be in a more aggressive attack position as well while standing. Sorry there's water on the lens. Like, it's so wet today. Um, it's, it's just pouring constantly. All the trees and everything are soaking wet. But the trail is actually in quite good shape, I would say. Um, there was a few sick places, but for the most part, I just felt like I had really, really good traction. Traction. I wouldn't say it's like hero dirt, but it was. It was. It was still decent. Maybe like if a lot of people had been riding and it would have been all chewed up and kind of shitty to ride in, but I wasn't particularly worried. Um, but unfortunately, there was just water everywhere, and it was getting on the cameras and stuff. Um, yeah, so I was trying the sit on the seat, sit as far forward on the seat as possible. So I was practicing that, and it, like to try and like whip through things. And um, and I was also wanting to practice with the front brake, and I also fiddled with my suspension a lot more to try and make it feel good. I think I may have hit like a that like oh, that jump doesn't get old. It's so much fun. Um, I think I might have hit like an equilibrium at one point. I think I was doing about like 25 through one of the these kind of bits. It was kind of dark. Um, and it felt like the bike was dead. Um, but I was moving. So it kind of felt like I was on the road, like I was driving the car up. Because uh, I just felt nothing. I didn't feel the vibrations. I couldn't feel anything. I was, the bike was so smooth. I was like, oh my God, is this is this the goal? Is this what you're trying to hit? when you're um, riding. Obviously, I know, of course, back's still super smooth. Um, and, you know, when you hit a log or whatever, it does obviously bounce again. But when you're just riding along stuff like this, I felt nothing oh, and I felt really confident. That. So maybe that's the, try that's the kind of goal I've been trying to hit. And maybe now I've hit the point where the rebound needs to be a little higher to help compensate for my compression. Um, I did feel super confident with what I was doing. I, I did put the rebound and compression higher, but I, I started getting into like pogo territory again. And I was like, oh God, I don't like that. I'm not fast enough <laughs> or confident enough for that. Uh, because I, I think it's like another, another five clicks. So I think in this super smooth stuff, 15-15 is good for me now. Maybe if it was dry or like a bit more hero dirt and I get a bit more confident, I'd put it up. But it's, it's good to know that you know, with the, the new valves and stuff that um, Langs did, about 15-15 feels really good, like almost perfect. Um, I, I couldn't believe the feeling. It felt like uh, Lucas's bike and he's had a lot of work done to his and his feels like that all the time. <laughs> but, you know, his suspension costs a lot more uh, and he put a lot more money and time into it than I have. Um, and it seems that I've managed to uh, maybe briefly achieve the same feeling. I was like, Oh, okay, I see now. I, I need to practice a bit more so I can retain this feeling. So yeah, all in all, very, really, really good day out practicing. I feel like I learned a lot, um, practiced a lot. Um, I'm super happy I managed to get my front tire to like take the old one off and put a new one on in just over an hour, like an hour and 10, rather than like three days of me trying to kill myself doing it. Um, 
yeah, very, very happy with how the bike was running, other than the fact that the bloody float got stuck open. I, I'm, I'm not impressed by that. I, I blame the fuel companies. I don't blame Beta. I blame the fucking fuel companies with their shitty ethanol. What, is it the fuel companies or is it the government? I don't know. I blame both of them. They're all assholes. <laughs> that was a good fun jump as well. Um, yeah, we're all assholes trying to ruin our fun, ruin our bikes. But nevertheless, seems like just whacking it with a spanner a few times fixes it anyway. Um, and then I'll give it a clean when I have a couple of weeks of non-racing and I actually have some time during the day to take the bike apart. Bloody job getting in the way of our hobbies, right? Oh, this, this place is so much fun to ride. I love jumping over these stuff. Wait. I didn't want to get more water on my goggles, so I'm trying to like avoid my face getting slapped by absolutely everything. I don't want more water on the camera and stuff as well. It's already wet enough. But yeah, having having an absolute blast. Hopefully, um, I can take some of my new newfound practice through to Cochrane's. I'm not convinced I've I've practiced enough, but I'm still very happy with what I've achieved. Um, I think, having looked at some of the videos, it looks like a fast flowy track, so maybe I'll just keep the suspension settings as it is and see if that helps with anything. But yeah, all in all, a good day out practicing. Um, back to the races this week, and yeah, hopefully see you all there. Ugh, almost crashed. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll do for this video. See ya. <laughs>